I thought Stop maybe he had an issue right with the right rear tire, but I think he just uh, just slid up there. And I don't want to call it a cushion. You know, we, we thought coming in we were going to say jump the cushion. There's really not a cushion up there. He just got in there with a lot of speed, tried to get it turned. Did a nice job, actually. Spin out, rotated. front straight away, and the caution is out oh, with four to go. Oh, no. <laughs> Mike Marler. The right rear tire down. Now what's going to happen, what Jeff? What do you do now? Hey, Joey Logano, you're sick. You, you notice... Uh, we didn't ask Larry to go back 51 years in his notebook <laughs> for trends for this. And uh, based on that announcement, I'm making them right now. I'm sure you are. <laughs> All right, a cut tire for Marler. Uh, he had worked his way back to the lead lap, then got lapped. And the cut tire puts him into the wall. The dust will settle and we will have a shootout. Oh. Single file restart. Um, <laughs> Are we, Vortex we have, theory on line two. Just say, are we going to have a dust up here too? I think so. Yes. Here's the 11. Never should have let him cut me off. I won't. I won't this time. Heads up, TJ. Let him know. <laughs> Talking to spotter for Joey Logano. <laughs> yeah, calling out TJ Majors. Yes, Joey spotter. Let him know. Not going to make it easy. I don't think you need to tell Joey. He knows. No, for sure. <laughs> Probably the best in the business of blocking. Him and TJ Majors, that comp combination's always been very good. The plate tracks and things like that. TJ races a lot. A lot of eye racing stuff at night. If I jump on and log on, he's always on there leading a the charge. He understands what these guys are going through. So, Clint, how do you play this restart, being that it's single file? Well... If I'm who? <laughs> if I'm Joey Logano, I'm trying to get the best jump I can do. I'm not going to slip up. I'm going to be disciplined when I get down to one and two because that's where you can mess up. You open the door for uh, for Denny Hamlin, he's going to take it. Okay, so you take that approach because that's a little bit more of a conservative approach. I'm Denny Hamlin. I'm taking chances. I'm taking risks. I'm going to carry more speed to the maybe one groove up, try to get to the outside of Joey Logano, hold him down, pin him down. In my opinion... The only option Denny Hamlin has to win this race is to bump and run. Ooh. Better flex some muscle if you're going to win this one if you're 11 ball. All right, we're going to overtime here in Bristol. We are off next weekend, and then in two weeks, we're going to Martinsville. The mayhem in Martinsville awaits. That's right. The long straightaways and hard-breaking turns of the paperclip make it an unrelenting night of racing. But for those that have outmaneuvered, outlasted, and defeated their competitors, and this rigid stretch of road, the prize is pretty sweet. Don't miss all the action. Only on FS1. So if you're coming to Martinsville, Thursday night, the Wheel and Modified Tour, Friday night, the Xfinity Series. Saturday night, the NASCAR Cup Series on the half mile. I think the only thing that makes the dirt race here at Bristol better is to follow it up with a short track action night race mm -hmm. at Martinsville. Cannot wait for that. One of my favorite racetracks up there. Under the lights, it's going to be even better. So, Logano will be the leader on the restart. Hamlin on his bumper. Martin Truex. Ricky Stenhouse who has the best car he's had all day, followed by Daniel Suarez and Tyler Reddick and Ryan Newman. You know, all these guys up there, are they trying to cool their tires down? I see everybody running up high in that darker, kind of where the dirt settled up top. That's exactly what they're trying to do, but at this point, I don't think they have much tire left. It's gonna have to get down there. And my, I don't think this is gonna be your last caution. I'm gonna call it right now. <laughs> yeah, this stage has run caution free, and now we're going into overtime. So this is definitely asking a lot. This out is going to be an expensive caution. <laughs> <laughs> there are the rules for overtime. If the leader gets the white flag under green, the next flag ends the race. Here's Denny Hamlin and company. You got the most aggressive guy in the business in this situation lead this race. The most aggressive one. Find a way. Whoa. Huh? Hey, that's how you motivate your driver, and he's absolutely right. Joey Logano is that 
What's he very aggressive driver. Better yeah. be aggressive. <laughs> All right, pace cars in. Two laps shootout. Here it is. On the dirt at Bristol. This is the one you've been waiting for. Credit one overtime. Oh, he got a good jump with him. You call it. He tried to go to the outside. I don't agree with it. I think this. Oh, oh got one and Tr- Martin Truex went straight. I think he's got a right front issue or something. And here comes Ricky Stenhouse Jr. to the bottom. Yeah, that top group did not work for Denny Hamlin. I didn't think it would. That's the best thing for Joey Logano was to see that side-by-side battle in his mirror. White flag. I think a right front flat on Mark Truex Jr. Wow, how about the job? Ricky Stenhouse Jr. What a great job. Second place right here. It's going to be an awesome finish for them. Close as he can get to Joey Logano. Stenhouse sends it in. But Logano is going to win the dirt race at Bristol. How about that? Joey Logano. Unreal. I got to tell you, I mean, guys, what a race. What a battle. All these different leaders. Joey Logano is pumped up to win this dirt race here at Bristol. Earlier today, Vince Welch and Michael Waltrip called him out. Oh, yeah, baby. They said, Blaney won last week after being up in the booth. Joey, you got to go. And he did it. And he did. And Martin Truex goes from third to 19th. Last car on the lead lap after cutting down a tire. Logano, Stenhouse, Hamlin, Suarez, and Ryan Newman, the top five. Byron, Reddick, Blaney, Jones, and Elliott, the top ten. What I saw right there, Jeff, you had a, you had a choice. You had to go to the outside and try to pass him clean, or you had to get in there and rough him up. He chose to do the, probably the cordial thing. Wasn't yeah. the winning move, however. I think he's got to think twice about it, though. Now watch third place here, the 19. Truex just goes up. Man, the car just never turns. Tire issue right from the beginning. And Stenhouse capitalizes on Hamlin. (laughs) I think even Joey was like, yeah, I come into this race this weekend. I don't think I got a shot. (laughs) He picks that. And he leaves with his 27th career cup victory. Your runner-up, Ricky Stenhouse, Denny Hamlin, Daniel Suarez. Here's Jamie. A lot of people in this garage, Joey. They wanted those bragging rights to say they won the first dirt race at Bristol. How do you sum up what this moment was like, this race, a cup car on dirt? Man, it's incredible. How about Bristol on dirt, guys? This is incredible, unbelievable racetrack. Great job by everyone that prepped the track. Obviously, a lot of work over here the last few days. And, uh, man, we did a lot of work in the in the dirt department in here the last few weeks with my buddy Ryan Flores and my, my car chief, Jerry Kelly, doing a good job with the modified and just making laps and learning where I was going. A lot of that help. Kevin Buzzkirk. Helped a lot too. He has a lot of knowledge, and uh, and obviously Paul Wolf, this team, uh, great car, obviously to, to be able to execute the race we did, and uh, and get a win. I was getting nervous. There's so many first-time winners and, and, and different winners, and there's typically been. I was like, we gotta get a win next year. We're getting the playoffs, so it's amazing to get this Shell Pencil Mustang in the in the victory lane at Bristol. It's nothing like winning at Bristol, but putting dirt on it and being the first to do it is really special. Joey, take us through this race, though, the changing track conditions constantly, something you guys have to do normally, but not to this extent. How much of a challenge was that today? Uh, it was definitely a challenge. You know, when, when they watered the track the last stage, that kind of changed everything. And Denny and I had a heck of a race because he found grip up top, and I was like, well, I don't know how to do that. So <laughs> I had to go up there and try to figure that out to defend uh, the, the lead position and then uh, eventually just work the lap cars. That was very hard as well, So um, as it should be. Uh, everyone's racing and staying on the lead lap. So I uh, was able to get through them as needed and, and uh, then, of course, the late race caution. But, man, what an amazing team. Everyone at Team Penske uh, really put together some really good cars uh, to come here and, and you know, wing it. That's that's what this is about. Nobody really knew what to put in the car, and um, we were able to adjust the right way throughout practice and, uh, and get into victory lane. It's great. Congratulations. For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.